Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and one of my top fans, they asked me, they said, how do you do the fade in and fade out? And I can't remember exactly which video it was. Actually, actually I can. It's, uh, it's several of my videos where I have the backpacking intro, and I'm walking towards the waterfall and I disappear. So what I'm going to do is show you within Final Cut Pro 10 how to do that. So I've got a random clip right here that I filmed on the beach. Now what you'll notice about this clip right here there's nobody in the in the frame but then when I scroll through you'll see somebody just walking down the beach and then you will see me that's me right there so let's say that we want me to disappear right here so how would we do that it's actually quite simple so I'm gonna so watch closely here this may be a little bit confusing but it'll all make sense so scroll back to where the subject enters the frame and go back a little bit before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a blade here and I'm going to delete this part. So now what I have, I have some empty beach scenery that's close to where I walk by. Now that's important because especially if you're doing this outdoors where the lighting may change, the cloud cover may change, it's important to try to as closely match the environment with the lighting and everything else as, as to where uh, it disappears. So see, I want to disappear right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do another blade because that's where I'm going to disappear. So I do blade and now I've got the disappearing part. So I've got the part to where I walk into the frame, which is right here, right before I walk into it. So I'm going to insert a blade there. So, there's several ways that one can do this. Now, so I've got this clip here with me walking. So what we can do now, we can actually, and I apologize, I kind of confused everyone here. So I'm going to take that clip out. So where I actually enter the frame, see, and I walk to the middle, I'm going to take that out. So I'm going to delete this. But see, now if you're watching this, you see the beach and the water, and you could make this as long as you wanted to, and then boom, there I appear magically out of thin air, and I'm walking down the beach. So to add the effect that I did, I used cross dissolve, and I put it there. So let's let this do its little rendering thing. Okay, that's finished. I've got a pretty fast computer. So now let's watch it. Boom. I appear out of thin air. And there I am walking down the beach. So I mean there's there's it's not a lot of uh it's not a lot of magic involved. The one thing that you do want to check and where you'll see imperfections here especially if there's an environment, probably the easiest way to do it first is to go to an environment, maybe go out on the street or somewhere where the, you know, where there's not waves. It's just pretty much a static backdrop. It's easier to create a more convincing effect there because see here, if I was going to dial this in professionally, if I was looking at the waves, I would have to have the exact same, see where the water is, the foam? When I appeared, I would need to have the foam exactly where that is. So, you know, mine, it's not 100% perfect. I mean, a, a video professional would watch this and be like, man, you know, this doctored up. You know, he didn't, uh, he didn't just appear out of thin air. But it's still pretty convincing, see? But the waves make it more challenging. So, again, go out to a, uh, to a street and film yourself walking. Film a little bit of space before where... You know, right before you walk, you know, maybe 30 seconds or so, because what that'll be is the footage, the same environment without you in it. And then when you, when you do this effect and you become part of that environment, that's where it looks really convincing. And I think you can probably get a really convincing effect if you don't have waves, because waves are kind of, you know, as we can see here, I mean, I didn't do it perfectly, 
but that's because I couldn't precisely match where the waves were when before I appeared. But thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash IRIXGUY. And enjoy all my other Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial videos, too. Y'all have a good day. Hey, all Irix guy here. I wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm an independent channel, and it's viewers like you that help me to continue to grow. I appreciate your viewership, and y'all have a good day.